We will now perform the parking brake check and the air brake system check. With our engine running, we'll build our air pressure to approximately 120 pounds. Check both gauges. We'll take our red valve, trailer air supply valve, and push it in. We'll make sure that our yellow valve is out. step on the clutch and put our transmission in first gear. Keep our foot off the brake pedal for now and we'll ease off the clutch until the engine pulls against the parking brake. We'll feel the truck want to move and we'll hear the engine labor. We'll step back down on the clutch. Then we'll establish the preconditions for the air brake check by keeping the transmission in first gear, stepping lightly on the brake pedal, and pushing our yellow valve in. Now we have both the parking brake valve and the trailer air supply valve in the in position. Wait until our air pressure builds back up to 120 pounds. We can now shut off the engine, bring the clutch pedal up, and release the foot brake. We can now begin the 123 air brake check. First check is we'll check for air leaks in the system, turning our key on so that our gauge works. We'll step hard on the brake pedal all the way to the floor and hold it. We'll check our air gauge for an initial drop in pressure. Once the gauge is stopped dropping and hold steady, we'll time it for 60 seconds and make sure that we have no more than 4 PSI air loss for a tractor trailer. If we were performing this check in a tractor only or a straight truck, we would not want to lose more than 3 PSI in 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, if we have not lost more than 4 PSI and we do not hear any air leaks, we can release our brake pedal and check our low air warning system. We will do that by ensuring that the key is on but the engine is not running. We will then pump the air brake or the brake pedal slowly until the low air pressure system activates. We will hear a sound and we will see the light indicating that we have low air pressure. Low air pressure indication should happen at no less than 60 PSI. Okay, we so saw we had low air pressure at no less than 60 PSI. We see the light and we hear the buzzer. We can now shut the key off. And we'll check our emergency system. We'll continue to pump the we'll continue to pump the brake pedal and 
somewhere between 45 and 20 PSI. Below 45, above 20, both our red and yellow valves have popped out. Once that has happened, we have completed the 1-2-3 air brake check.